What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in this video, I want to talk about how to use the Smart Path Selection tool within Profile Builder. So this tool allows you to supercharge your selections within SketchUp, making selecting complex edges a lot simpler. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So Profile Builder is an extension for SketchUp that allows you to create smart profiles. So things like fences, things with like um, repeating components components as well as objects that get extruded along paths. Well, in addition to this, it also has a number of other tools built in. And uh, if you're interested in checking out Profile Builder, um, you can get the free trial by visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash profile builder. So when, when you first install Profile Builder, it's going to look something like this. And basically what's going to be contained in there is there's going to be a number of different tools. And so in this case, for this video, we're going to focus on this third option, which is the Smart Path Selection Tool. This is something that got highlighted a little bit um, in a presentation last week by Daniel Tall. I've got some more stuff that you can do with it, but for right now, I just want to show you what it can do. So basically what it does is it tries to predict where your paths or where your selection might want to go within SketchUp. So the way that it works is you click on this button to activate the tool and you can see how you get this kind of like curvy line next to your mouse. Well you can see if you move your mouse over objects in your SketchUp model, so basically I've drawn a sphere and I've turned hidden geometry on, but you can see how this basically finds those different segments in here. Well let's say for example that I wanted to do a selection that goes all the way around this sphere. You can see how all I have to do is just single click and then I just have to move my mouse around and it kind of does a predictive thing. Whoops. It kind of does a predictive thing where it tries to figure out where your path might want to go. And so you can see how very it's very easy for me to come in here and select a path. And you can see how I can add different points to the path just by clicking on different areas. And then once I'm done, I can just single click and you can just hit the enter key to finalize your selection. So you can see I was able to come in here and select this path all the way, all the way around this sphere really easily. And so that opens up a number of possibilities. Like for example, now I could unsoften this edge and then I could do something like, let's say I wanted to draw a sphere on this face. Now that I have this path selected, all I have to do is just click on this sphere that I drew, or in this case, I think it's extruding more of an arc along that path. And you can see how that was really easy to do using this tool. So another example is if I was to come over here and let's say I wanted to do something with this dome. I would just uh, turn on the hidden geometry. Then I could click on this point and you can see how whenever I click, I can move my mouse and it'll just kind of follow my mouse and it'll do this kind of predictive selection algorithm type thing. And so, I can click along here and I can basically select any of these that I want to and you can see how easy this is where before I would have had to come in here and do like a single click on every single one of those well now I can come in here and I can just select those and make them do whatever I want and this also raises some really interesting possibilities for extensions like joint push pull because you can select different edges and faces in here and then you can extrude them really easily. And then from a practical standpoint, let's say that you wanted to create some kind of a fence or something like that on this face. You could definitely come in here and kind of like size up your edges or uh, have your edges in here and try to select things this way. But you can see how you'd have to do a lot of clicking and cleaning up of your selection. Well, in this case, if I was to activate this tool, and let's say I wanted to do like a square fence, I could click on this point, this point, this point. and right here and hit the enter key. And you can see how that gives me a completely selected path in like four clicks as opposed to having to do all of your individual clicks over here. Well, then you could activate the assembly dialog within profile within profile builder and you could select something out of your library. So let's say that we selected, let's go with this very simple fence assembly. We already have this path selected and I can just click on this button and it'll build this fence along this path. Now I'm going to talk about this a little bit more next week, but for now, you can see how that was really easy to do. And one of the other things I do is I actually combine this with an extension called Selection Memory, which I talked about last week and I will link to because what it does is it allows you to select, select a path really easily. And then if you accidentally click off of it and lose that path, then you can cycle your previous selections 
and find that really easily. So let's say for example that I did this selection right here and then I clicked off of it and I lost it. Well I have this extension installed that allows me to cycle my previous selections that allow me to reselect this. And you'll notice that I have a keyboard shortcut applied to that so that I can just tap the D key and cycle those selections. But this allows me to do a lot of different things within SketchUp. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this interesting to you? Do you find the Smart Path Selection tool useful? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.